play. So we will be aware of it. So we're going to prepare to just wind up the session. So we're going to do what we call some subi grind. So as we inhale, we're going to rotate forwards. Exhale backwards. Inhale, rotate forwards. Exhale backwards. We're going to do this 21 times. It's beginning now. Inhale forwards, exhale backwards. Inhale forwards, exhale backwards. Remember to keep your count up. you've got in your hips, in your groin. Lovely. Okay, good. So come down onto your mat. So lie down onto your back, bending your knees. Soles of the feet on the floor. You're going to raise your right foot up into the sky. Not exhale, bend your right foot. Knee, sorry, so that your right ankle is on your left thigh. As we do eye of the needle, so you're going to bring your right palm through the hold you just made, holding on to your left thigh, interlacing the fingers of the left hand with the right hand, keeping the shoulder blades onto the back of the floor and the back of the head on together. Uh, as you inhale, you can bring your knees as close as you is comfortable for you, as close as you would desire a stretch. As you curl the toes upwards, releasing any anxiety, stress, or frustration you're holding in your hips. Exhale, release. The left foot down to get the earth, release the palm to the left, release in the west. As you inhale, exhale, allow that right foot to fall to get the earth, the sole of the right foot to fall to get the earth. As you inhale, Exhale, take the gaze to the right hand. As you inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release. That right foot down to get the earth. As you inhale, raise the left foot up. Do not exhale, bend the left knee. Left foot is on the left right thigh. You're going to bring your left palm in between the hole you've just created, holding onto your right thigh, interlace the fingers of the right hand, bring the back of your, your shoulders and the back of your head on together. Uh, curl the toes up as you inhale, you can bring your knees as close to your chest as is accessible to you, or as much as you would like to stretch. As you exhale, release that right foot down to get the earth, uh, extend the palm to the east and the west. As you inhale, exhale, release that left foot, sole of the left foot down to the earth. As you inhale, exhale, take the gaze to the left arm. As you start to correct the emotional imbalances, such as the imbalances such as love, you experience to be able to experience love and joy as you exhale release any stress anger anger or frustration that you're holding in your hips as you inhale bring the knees back to center crown back to center exhale release that left foot down to get the earth good so you're going to bring the soles of your feet, bring your knees up towards your chest, place the palms into your shins as you're going to rotate your knees three times clockwise, three times anti-clockwise. You're going to bend your knees, bring the soles of the feet up into the sky as if you're squatting into the air, bending your knees so the knees are close to your armpits. As you take happy baby, just gently rock from side to side. 
Keep in the upper back and the back of the head onto the floor. Exhale, release. And extend the feet out towards the floor, out in front of you. Inhale, raise the palms up above the ground. Interlace the fingers. As you exhale, you're going to extend your palms and your fingers in opposite direction from each other. On the inhalation, stretching every fibre or muscle of your being. Exhale, release. Releasing an audible sigh. As you inhale, interlace the fingers, extend the feet and palms in opposite directions. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, raise the palms up. Exhale, release them down to the earth, the earth beside your waist. We're going to take a shoulder stand. Get the flow of energy flowing to different parts of our body before we finish our practice today. So extend the feet out in front of you. If you have, if you're on a cycle, you've got a bad back or you're pregnant, I suggest that you do not do these postures as a reversal flow of blood to your body. And in the same vein as creating the correct or right environments for that seed to germinate and to flourish, the dead plow is paramount because this allows for fresh oxygen and fluids to flow through our spine, so it's absolute spinal nourishment, the super highway. So as we inhale, we're going to raise our feet with enough momentum to bring them 45 degrees above our head. Placing your palms onto your lower back. Try to hold on to a piece of bone if you can. Elbows parallel to the outer edge of the mat. And as you exhale, extend your feet up towards the not the heavens. And just breathe. Do not look from left to right when you're up in this posture. Relax the face, relax the jaw. Ensuring that there's not too much pressure on the back of your neck. And as you exhale, release the legs down to get the earth behind you. If you're able, if you're not, just bend your knees and place your knees onto your forehead. But if you're able and the toes touch the floor, bend, allow the toes to point towards your head as you release the palms. Press up through the shin bones and the thigh bones. And just breathe. Bring your feet up 45 degrees, place your palms onto your lower back. As you exhale, switch the palms to the sides of the thighs, and as you exhale, release and come out of it one vertebra at a time. Releasing your feet down to the floor. As you inhale, raise the palms up. Exhale, release the palms down to get the earth behind you. As you inhale, we're going to come up to seated. Exhale, forward fold. As a count opposed to the pose we just did. Allow the head to fall naturally. No press, pressure, no tension, no strain. Inhale, raise the palms up. Exhale, raise the palms down to the sides. Good. Now come to seated. We're going to do something which we call alternate nostril breathing to balance out your left and right hemispheres. So take your left palm and hold it in between your lap as if you're holding water. Take your right hand, you're going to bring your index finger and your middle finger towards your palm. Ring finger and the little finger together, thumb and, th and the thumb is pointing away from it. So as you inhale, you're going to close the right nostril with your thumb as you inhale I'm going to breathe through your left for a count of five. As you close your left, you're going to exhale through the right for a count of ten. As you inhale through the right for a count of five, you're going to close the right and you're going to exhale through the left for a count of ten. 
As you inhale through the left, work out five. You're going to exhale to the right, work out ten. As you inhale to the right, work out five. Close the right, exhale to the left, work out ten. Inhale to the left, for a count of five. Close the left, exhale to the right, for a count of ten. Inhale to the right, for a count of five. Exhale to the left, for a count of ten. Bring your wrists to your knees, and you can bring your thumb and index finger together. And just take a few breaths. Settle down the mind. Settle down the body. And just tune into your own life force energy. To close the practice with a chant. One long arm. Om is a universal vibration. They say it's a seed word, which is where everything started from. And when we chant on, we're seeking to vibrate with the you and be in resonance with the universe, in tune, in, in sync, as it were. So as we inhale. Peace is not something that we need to seek from external validation or external things or events. Peace is our natural birthright. And joy and bliss is a natural byproduct of us actually going beyond our seediness, beyond our own opinion, high opinion of ourselves. You know, activating that inner genius and allowing our unique gifts to bless the world, which work whatever that is, whatever that may be. Enjoy. Stay blessed and be at peace. As you inhale, raise the palms up above your crown. Exhale, bring the palms down towards your heart center. Hatep, Hatep, Hatep. A lotus for you, a Buddha to me.